As shovels break ground, excavators are hard at work at Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center in Plains Township. The work's all part of a massive expansion that will nearly double its footprint. Those of you who are looking over the wall know that we've been working for a, a little while. Um, but we get to ceremonially break ground with you um, and share with you the single largest investment in Geisinger's 109 year history. Right now, Geisinger is operating at more than 100% capacity every day, meaning long emergency wait times, a backup of ambulances, and nowhere to put patients. We'll see patients in hallways, we'll see them in chairs, we'll see them in offices and in conference rooms, and in many cases, we'll see them directly in the waiting room and have people be discharged from the waiting room if their care is complete. Geisinger says it's an issue that started after the shuttering of several nearby hospitals and services. It's certainly affected our communities here. So this is Geisinger's way to try to give back to the community and make sure that all of us in the community have the care that we really need and deserve. An 11 floor tower will bring dozens of additional emergency and ICU beds, making all rooms private for patients. It'll also bring major changes to the heart hospital and surgery procedures. All of these changes made with input from those who work with patients every single day. Frontline staff are the most important people that we work with on a daily basis, and they do the work, so they know where the problems are, and so it's really important for them to have a say in how this is built. Wall today is a big step forward. It'll be years before the project is up and running. The tower with the patient rooms will be done in four years, with the full project expected to be completed by 2030. Melissa Steininger, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.